Electronic Entertainment Expo, or as it's more commonly known as E3. I have to say that last year's E3 wasn't that exciting for me. I don't know, it just felt not important. Nothing much interests me except for a few things like Scorpio and Zelda. But that was last year. This is n this is now. And I have to say that this is the E3. This is the most hyped up E3 I've ever like this is I've I'm so hyped up for this E3. Why? Because of three main things. The first one is because well that's going to be kind of obvious. It's E3, and E3 is where tons and tons of games come out, and usually the the brand new, the, the best of the best are at E3, so that's already exciting. And the second being that we have already things that have been hyped up for like a year and like two years that are, that'll be revealed here. So that, like at this E3, this will be the biggest, the biggest one in like two, two years which isn't really too long, it's only like two E3s, but still, E3, it's like, it's, it's E3. So, E3 2017 is going to be my first real E3 that I've fully watched, because it's going to be the one where I'm going to be making a large video, talking about everything, and I'm just probably going to make every video and all of, all my thoughts into one of them, and I'll try... I'll try to watch all the conferences. There might be some that I won't watch, like, um, I don't know. I think the one that I'm least interested in, um, at E3 2017 would be the EA one. But, still, I'm gonna probably tune into the Bethesda one, and I'm definitely gonna tune into the Microsoft and, and Nintendo one, and probably Sony as well. So, yeah, E3 2017 is going to be a huge event. E3 is already huge, but this one will be like 10 times more huger. It's just, it, it, it's E3 and everything, like all the games that get unveiled at E3, you can always relate to those people, because there's always like a game at E3 that you'll be able to, um, that you'll be able to like. At least one game at E3 you will, you will enjoy. And like, that's the thing, like, because other people will enjoy other things, um, different things than you, so you could like share... Uh, you can like share thoughts and like you know you can know what it feels like when like someone across like across from you or like someone on a live stream on online or on the internet is just really excited for a game that you don't care about you can still share like you can still share that feeling with them which is really 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 nice about the internet and E3 and all that but the fact is the reason I'm so hyped up for this E3 in particular is because there's so many things that I want to see revealed and more things than ever and I'm gonna get into that right now so what are the things that I am most excited to be revealed well the number one thing I'm um, that I want to be revealed believe it or not is not with the switch it's actually with Microsoft's upcoming project Scorpio why well because I my PC right now is capable of 4K, but the thing is, I prefer console gaming more than PC gaming right now, and the only reason is because the games on consoles, like, are like the things that all my, that a lot of my friends have, which means like you can play it with your friend, which is the biggest part. If you're ever, just a quick little tip right here, if you're ever wondering what video game console to get, or what platform to get just get the ones that all your friend that your friends have or the majority of your friends have and it'll just be a better experience for you so yeah like that is why i i just want to see the scorpio in action because it's been it's been like hyped up for a year now and there's been plenty of news topics saying like oh how the, the scorpio is going to have like all of like is gonna have all of these specs and it's gonna have six terra fleeps and flops and flop them dams and I and like it's gonna have all this GPU power it's gonna be able to uh, cook your breakfast and yeah that's like the thing that everyone's excited for and I'm excited for it too and like yeah I just the Scorpio is gonna be like everything ever it's it's gonna be everything the thing actually, believe it or not, that I'm most excited for is actually two na two things about Scorpio. That would be the name of the Scorpio, 
but mainly the design. I r I'm really into um, designs of computers and uh, and consoles. I've all like the number one thing that I want that like the thing that I've always wanted to do is to design a computer or like to design a consoles like not even like specs wise just to, like build a, a case and just put it in there. That's the number one reason why I'm so excited because I want to see what Microsoft's gonna have it look like because in the um in the video for the Scorpio we did see like just a tiny bit of what it looks like and I doubt that's what um it could not be even close to what it's actually gonna look like in the like final in the final places but still I think that if it looks like a big box it like and if it can like be that big and it's gonna have all the stuff and it's probably gonna have tons of things that you can do with it like you have like I said before it can cook your breakfast it can I, I don't know like it can spit out controllers like that kind of stuff where it like th I know that the Xbox one original was huge I have it right here it's right in front of me and that one is huge like it's 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 the biggest Xbox well actually I know I think that the original Xbox is around the same size or actually no I, what am I even saying? I, I own all three Xboxes, and I can confirm that my original, my, that my Xbox One is bigger than all of them. So, yeah, but the, the, the S, the S One is so small, so, like, it's gotta be in between for the Scorpio, because, like, technology advances and gets thinner, like, the thinner laptops and thinner all that, so, like, Scorpio's gotta have, gotta probably be in between, between the One and the One S. So now that I just went a little tan on a little tangium of um, the Scorpio, now I'm gonna move on to Sony. So I said kind of to watching Sony's presentation, presentation, and the reason is because I'm not really, I'm not really into Sony. I made a video saying how I've never owned a PlayStation console ever, but actually there was a scrapped video that I'll be redoing probably today, today, and that is just me talking about how Sony might unveil their answer to the switch which would be their uh, their console that they signed a patent for it's got like the little screen and it's got you know yeah it's got the screen and it's got these like controllers latched onto it it looks really weird but it looks really interesting and i really want to try that out but besides that that there's nothing that i can really relate to unless there's like because like um the only thing that i'll be able to play because i don't own a sony platform will be cross-platform things like games for the PS4 and the PC and Xbox One S but any exclusives I'll just see like oh that's cool I guess I can relate to the people who are really excited but yeah okay is that it? Is that it? so yeah like I just desperately want to see something something that would catch my eye happen at the Sony conference that's the number one thing I would love to see at Sony's conference just something that I would like something interesting so now time for the big the main star the thing my the main star of my channel the Nintendo switch I think the um, Nintendo switch e3 is gonna be pretty similar to um, the presentation that they did which is practically just a smaller e3 for Nintendo I think what they're gonna do is that they're gonna reveal games like Super Mario Odyssey and like talk more about that game and like maybe some the virtual console is the is huge i want virtual console please um like uh, animal crossing smash bros those things are interesting like they're it but the no, the thing i want i'm looking forward to the most at out of the um nintendo switch or nintendo uh, e3 is just going to be virtual console i want virtual console please I don't know what it is, but I think it's just the fact that I have my Wii U and I want to play it on the go. Like, I want to play um, Mario Maker, which Mario Maker's probably not going to be on the Switch. I don't think. I mean, it's on the 3DS, but the only reason they put it there is because, like, the Nintendo jumped ship on the Wii U. But, like, I just think that the. I would like to see some of my favorite Wii U titles on there. I'd love to see Super Mario 64 on the Switch. That is a guarantee. I'd, I would get... 
That is a huge thing I want. I know Super Mario 64 is on the Wii U Virtual Console, but still, like, basically, in case you don't, um, can't tell, I'm, like, I'm insane, I'm madly in love with the Wii U, it's just, ah, the Wii U, like, it's, I, it's amazing. I, I like the tablet, it's, tablet is great, the console, I, I, I'm actually one of the few people who kind of like the console design, even though it's just a brick on steroids, like some other people are quoting it. But still, yeah. So, that's going to be what I think of the Switch uh, performance. I think there's just going to be, like, all tons of new games we weren't expecting. Metroid, F Star Fox, Blue, yeah, Kirby, d -d 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 all that stuff. And ports in tons and, pu and tons and tons of ports, please. Skyrim, actually, yeah, that's something I want to see there. Um, I am insanely, I, like, out of everything, Skyrim is one of my most favorite games ever, ever. Like, eh, like I'm being honest, Skyrim is amazing. And I, that's my opinion. I think Skyrim is one of the best games I've ever played. I, because it's just huge, and you can do everything, and you can do nothing if you want, but still. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on what I think E3 is going to be. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And see you.